Welcome back guys, we are talking about biology problems and here comes another problem for you though it's not purely mathematical but still it is going to help you to understand some very important concepts in DNA replication. So let's begin with it. A mutant of E. coli with heat sensitive DNA ligase that is uh, in that mutant 25 degrees Celsius is permissive for the replication but 37 degrees Celsius is non-permissive for that. And that DNA ligase has been used to show that DNA synthesis is discontinuous. An examination of the replication in presence of 3H, that is, uh, you know, this is a um, I mean, isotope of hydrogen, which is a radio level isotope. So, radio level thymine uh, and hydrogen is leveled there. So, radio level thymine is used in that mutant DNA to form. So, what result we can obtain by using that uh, radio level thymine? in that place to see the discontinuation of the rep DNA replication. So let's look at it. Now in this case, this is not a mathematical problem as I've already told you. But the thing is, the very important thing to understand about this problem, as you know, you need to understand the mutation. These are called you know, conditional mutation. That means a mutation will only work at a particular condition. On the other hand, it won't work, right? For example, in this case, the DNA ligase, that is the E. coli DNA ligase, it is heat sensitive, right? It is not heat resistance. Now, in that case, it can function it at 25 degrees Celsius temperature, but it cannot function at 37 degrees Celsius temperature. That's the difference. Can function at 25, cannot function at 37. So, this is what you need to understand. What does that mean? How DNA replication will work if it only works at 25 and does not work at 37, right? So, what does that mean? Do not look at it, these options. Just think about the situation. Now, a DNA ligase is in our hand, remember, a DNA ligase, and what is the function of DNA ligase? The function of DNA ligase is to join the NICs at the end, right? It will not incorporate any nucleotide in the blank DNA, but it can join the NIC only. Remember, many students have misconception that NIC, there is a difference between NIC and GAP. You know, in GAP, in DNA, that means... Suppose this is a complete DNA and in the upper DNA, say, here are two nucleotides that is not present in this top, top DNA, this one. Now, this region will be termed as a gap, but a need must be something where every nucleotides are added in the position, but there is a nick between the nucleotides, but it is not a nucleotide gap and this can be filled by DNA ligase. That's the job of DNA ligase. So if DNA ligase is present, it can fill this nick, not gap. It can join those nucleotide sequences, right? Now in this case, this DNA ligase of Escherichia coli, they can easily function at 25 degrees Celsius temperature. That is given here. It is permissive, but they won't function at 37 degrees Celsius temperature. So they won't function at this temperature. That means if we carry this DNA replication at 25 degrees Celsius temperature, DNA ligase will definitely fill those nick or join the nick, and as a result, DNA replication can continue and it can end. But if it conducts at 37 degrees Celsius temperature, it will end up with short segment of DNA, right? Because DNA ligase will not work at 37 degrees Celsius temperature, right? So if we use a radio level thymine in the position, which is, they can take any of the bases, they, they took here thymine for example, because you know bases will be added uh, with the growing chain. So in this case what we know is that to see that whether, because uh, using the radio level it's an important idea because after uh, plating that, after seeing that plate, we can find that where we can see bands and band will be discontinuous. It will tell us that the DNA which is produced is discontinuous in nature. So for example here, here are four different statements. So what we know now, we know ligase will function at 25, will not function at 37. So the disrupted DNA, discontinuous DNA will be, uh, I mean, seen at 37 degrees Celsius temperature, not 25 degrees Celsius temperature. So here, the uh, first one is, un and obviously as we are talking about this radio level timing, all the DNA strands that we start to find in that plate will be radio level, right? So here comes the first conclusion that is unleveled DNA at 25 degrees Celsius and 37 degrees Celsius. It is not true because unleveled definitely will not work because thymine is radio level. So obviously we will find a radio level. So this is second one is also unleveled. So I, I just cut those two things out. 
right? Now the third one, radioable DNA at 37 degree Celsius temperature, but not at 25 degree Celsius temperature. Now, is that true? Now in this case, try to imagine the concept now. Now what we use that, we, we add in presence of thymine in the situation is going on. Now normally what we know, in this case, what we produce is a short segment. Remember, short segment of these particles. So short segment means the short segment will only generate, only generate, it, it will only be generated if ligase is mutant. So if the ligase have this problem, right? So in this case, ligase if ligase have the problem, only we get short segment. So we are getting short segment, which is radiolable. It is true. And we find this segment only at 37 degrees Celsius temperature, but not at 25 degrees Celsius temperature. Now here comes the tallying thing. That means we know the ligase is fine. It is working fine at 25 degrees Celsius temperature. That means we, 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 won't, we will not get any of the short segment at 25 degrees Celsius temperature. And that is true here. But we will get short segment at 37 degrees Celsius temperature due to the mutation it will not continue uh, the proper joining so we will get the short segment at 37 so this stress statement is kind of true whatever we have learned till now so this is going to be the true statement fourth one is uh, DNA we get short segment at 25 but we won't get at 37 this is not true because we will surely uh, won't get any short segment at 25 Right? So the right option here is option C because the DNA ligase will only produce short segment when it is not working and it will not work at 37. So it will find at 37 but not at 25. So that's the right answer. So this type of problem you need to think about some special features of the enzymes, how they work and that's why I love these problems. Go for it.